All right, greetings all. Thank you for returning to my channel. I'm Professor Nooney. Allow me to welcome you back to the Fight Night Champion Custom Boxers Bare Knuckle Tournament. That's a huge mouthful. Uh, we are continuing on with the bracket. Uh, I'll show you the bracket in a second, but as I always forewarn, if you haven't seen the previous fight, that would be between the Joker and Ice Cube. That would be fight f uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fight six of round one. So round one, fight six. If you have not watched that yet, or any of the other fights previous to that, I recommend you do so before continuing on, as I'm about to show the bracket, which could spoil the results for you. Okay, I assume if you're still here, you've already seen the previous fights. So let us hop, or rather, let us take a look at our current fight, which is going to be Barack Obama and James Clubber Lang. I believe I said in our in my uh, previous video that I would explain who Clubber Lang is, because I believe Barack Obama, you know, it just goes without saying. Former president of the United States, served two terms. From 2008 to 2012, and then 2012 to 2016, he needs no introduction. Now, James Clubber Lang, on the other hand, was in Rocky Three. He defeated Rocky, actually, uh, and took away his championship. I believe he's the only one to do that. Once Rocky became champion, he didn't lose to anybody except James or Clubber Lang. Uh, he was a very intimidating figure, and I have a feeling that he's going to do quite well in this. I mean, this sort of looks a little bit mismatched. He looks like the bigger fellow out of the two. But, you know, Barack Obama has had things that he had to come up against in his, in his political career. I'm pretty sure this won't really be that much different or even that much more intimidating or difficult to deal with. Um, that being said, let's just hop right into it. We are going to continue to fight in the pen. I can't necessarily make a determination as to who I think will win this fight. I think I'll do that in the second round because I'll be able to judge each fighter's, I guess you can say, their chances of winning based on their previous performance. This is all first round action, so I'm not quite sure which what the fighters are currently made of. Once we get a result of their first fight, we can then go forward with a good idea of what they're capable of. But right now, we are about to start round one. Here we go. Both men come out of their corners right into the center of the ring. Let's see if anybody takes the early advantage. Obama sort of backing himself up to the ropes, but then gets out of the corner. Hits with a pretty good overhand left. Backs up and causes Clubber Lane to miss a body shot. Both men trade blows. Clubber Lane misses with the right uppercut. Gets caught with a right hook. Clubber push, pushing himself into the corner. Perhaps he feels a bit more comfortable back there. Swinging pretty hard. Getting somehow squeezing some shots in, not others. Catches Obama with a left straight and then clinches. Obama pushes him off saying you're doing it backwards. Let's see if Clubber Lang was able to intimidate Obama as successful as he did with Rocky. Lang seems to be suffering the same type of illness that other fighters before him have, and that appears to be swinging wildly when the opponent is clearly not within range. He may have that issue of not being able to gauge the distance correctly. He does appear to be moving around, though. He doesn't appear to be that weathered. Obama catches him at with the oh what a beautiful right uppercut. Obama a little bit a little weary as a result of that, but still able to fight Lang off to keep him back away. Lang swinging wildly with that overhand left and an overhand right, missing both, but Obama not punishing him. Lang trying to leap in with those with those uppercuts. Misses both times and tires himself out. That is the end of round one. Let's go to the corner. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. Winning this fight. Okay. Listen, I need you to throw three punches, combinations. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? Up, down, step, over. 
All right, both trainers telling their respective fighters to start throwing more punches. I think what's being missed is that Clubber Lang is indeed throwing them, but he just appears to be throwing them not within range. That appears to be his issue. Let's see if either men will adhere to their trainer's advice and start throwing more. I have to say that is being done so far. Although it is, I would not be fighting in this sort of, with this particular style. Both of these men appear to be very strong inside fighters. Once they get in, they don't care what they throw. They're just going to throw it out there. Whether they hit air, blocks, forearms, or faces, they are just going to throw out everything they have. This has the recipe of an early ending to the fight. I have a feeling somebody will be knocked out pretty soon. Luckily, both of these men know how to evade. They know how to lean out of the way and block. It doesn't appear that they know how to punish deflected attacks or even evaded attacks. Obama punches Lang with a really good hit, did a pretty good damage, and then chooses to clinch. I'm not quite sure the reasoning behind that. Obama catches Lang as he leaps in with the right hook. Obama catching a left uppercut, not a lot of damage. Lang, Lang continues to try to swing wildly, sometimes not within the range. Lane not very much concerned with distance. Perhaps giving off the impression that he is inaccurate intentionally? I'm not quite certain, but that's the end of round two. Let's go to the corner. Need to cover up, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. Clubber Lang's fighter telling him he needs to start blocking more. Uh, that right there will be a testament as to why he needs to do so. Obama's trainer feels that he's doing pretty well, convinced that he's winning the fight thus far, and urges him to continue doing what he's doing. I'm pretty sure taking a left hook to the face is not part of that. Obama may, me may need to be the one to start blocking and choosing when to start punching. Obama appears to be tiring himself out, sort of mirroring Lane's behavior in the earlier rounds. Both men blocking each punch until Lane su successfully landed a left hook. Obama gets in his right hit. Obama able to lean out of the way of Clubber's right overhand, but doesn't follow up with a punish. That seems to be a common theme among some fighters. Clubber missing a few shots, but landing a couple of, of successful hits. Although Obama appears to be getting the stronger punches in this round. Obama punching Clubber Lane before he has a chance to connect, interrupting his attack. Lang at this point appears to be wearing himself out a bit quicker than he did the previous two rounds. Sort of abandoning his trainer's advice that he started to adopt earlier this round, which was blocking a bit more. He seems to be falling back into that mode of throwing wildly when either within or out of range. Open trade, trading body shots. End of round three. Let's go to the corner. Apologize about that, folks. Our microphone didn't appear to be working in Clubber Lang's corner that that, uh, that intermission. 
But we did hear from Obama's trainer to continue to double up that jab. Let's follow up with an overhand right. He appears to be having much success this round with that. We're not quite sure what Lang's advice was, but it doesn't appear that he adhered to it. Anyways, that was a huge left hook by Obama. Clever Lang appears to be quite confused and dazed as to what to do. Obama trying to follow up, but Clever Lang successfully blocking, tightening up his defense at the time where, where he needed it most, appears to be recovering correctly, or rather successfully and quickly. Able to throw the fight back to Obama now. Going back to the defense, blocking them with those body shots. Obama backing himself up into the corner. Trying with little hits here and there. Gets caught with the right hook and a left body shot. Obama appears to be okay, Gets a, even though he just took a left uppercut. Takes a right uppercut by Lang. It doesn't appear that Lang's powers or, or shots had that much power behind them. I can only th uh, attribute that to his stamina depleting as quick as it has. Obama misses with the left hook. Clubber Lang didn't follow up with a punish. Oh, gets a huge right body shot. Appears to be dazed, but is still able to fight off Lang. Now that right hook did some, some damage to Obama. Obama appears to be okay now. Both men have been stunned equally in this round. I'm not quite sure who the judges will give it to, but more than likely, I have a feeling they'll give it to Obama. It appears that the most, the action sort of intensified in the fourth round. We're approaching the end of it. And I believe we are going to head to the corners now. All right, so we do have a microphone back online in Lang's corner. Lang being told to throw more punches. I don't believe that's the issue that he's having. He is throwing a tremendous amount, although most of them, just like we see there, appear to be far out of range. Lang really needs to gauge the space a bit better in order to have more successful uh, victory, or rather round victories. Obama being told to block more often, he appears to be doing the exact opposite. Let's see if either man's improv impromptu strategy will serve them any will serve them good pretty big left hook by obama another a pretty good left uppercut by obama clubber lane slowing down a little bit trying to block obama tiring himself out tries to hit him with an overhand right as lang approaches lang blocks both men trading blows it seems to be tit for tat at this point you hit me in the face i'll hit you in the body and vice versa pretty good left overhand overhand left by obama nice jab trying to follow up with the straight but his stamina is just far too low and right now for it to be doing any sort of significant damage both men appear to be doing minimal damage with their punches, even though they appear to be coming with very much ferocity behind them. I have to attribute that to their stamina being low. They tire themselves out pretty quickly, and then when it is actual time to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, they don't have the energy behind each of those swings. A couple of trades right there. We're approaching the end of round five. Have to wonder if both of the men's trainers are satisfied with their performance. Let's take a listen. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing fine. You're just beating you to the punch. That's all. You need to throw more. If you're not punching, he is. Okay, we heard it there. Obama's trainer telling him that he's way ahead. To keep doing what he's doing Lang's trainer on the other hand saying he's just you're just being beaten to the punch you have to throw more 
For every time you throw, he for you don't throw, he throws. That was a huge right straight, right straight by Obama. Backs, backs laying up into the ropes. Lang doesn't appear to be standing on solid ground right now. Lang getting away from the ropes, realizing it's not doing him any good. Tries to put space between him and Obama. Is recovering a little bit. Does take a... Oh, a beautiful right hook as he tries to swing on Obama. And that is the end of the fight. Clubber Lang has been defeated. Knocked out in the, I believe that was the sixth round, if I'm not mistaken. Referee stops the fight. Two cuts under each eye. Or rather, a cut under each eye. Oh, what a beautiful right hook to the jaw. Lands cleanly. As if right on the knuckle. It wasn't even the fist itself. Let's take another look at that. Clubber Lang tries to come in with the left uppercut. The same left uppercut he's been trying to hit Obama with all fight. Obama narrowly leans out of the way. And is able to punish with the beautiful right hook. Just hits his, the left side of Clubber Lang's jaw. And hits him with the left uppercut on Clubber's Lang, Clubber Lang's way down, just for good measure. He gets the victory as a result of that. As you can see, Obama hardly has any damage to his face. He is the clear victor in this round, or rather this fight. With that being concluded, we know you should know exactly what's coming up at this point. We have to give Barack Obama his W, his four points, which represent a beautiful KO. Who could have, who could have expected this? or anticipated James Clubber Lane will be knocked out by Barack Obama. I did not see that coming, but based judging by the way Barack Obama fought this fight, I have to say we may see great things from him. In fact, I sort of anticipate seeing him in the actual finals of this group. I'm not quite sure who he may come up against, but whomever it may be, they do have a fight on their hands and they better prepare in their training camp. That being said, I'm going to end the video there as Barack Obama is the clear winner. Beautiful knockout in the sixth round. Yes, I was correct. I'm going to end the video there. Thank you all to those who came to check out my video for watching my video. I appreciate all the views and notoriety I can get. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And as always, take care and God bless.